Guys, uh, this is a uh, quick video to show you an update that uh, Corey and I have been working on the last several weeks. Um, we have upgraded the uh, pace calculator for any distance you're racing. So uh, I'm just logged into Final Surge. Uh, I'm in my account. Uh, go to the stopwatch workout intensity calculator. Click that. Make sure it's on Hanson's is in is in black um, before you really could only choose the marathon so now you can go by whatever you want to do so um, let's say you are running uh, a half marathon or you can put it in manually 13.1 miles you have a goal time of one hour let's say you have a goal time of one hour and 45 minutes so now you have half marathon you have easy paces you have moderate paces you have long run pace speed workouts vo2 max workouts lactate threshold or strength workouts half marathon tempo marathon tempo and then lastly strides which most people um, it's not really something you're timing but um, that will give you every single pace for whatever you have on your schedule and then it will also give you equivalent performances at any at any distance so nice little upgrade another nice feature that you will see is um, let's say right now it's uh, January 26th normally we would be in the uh, Arctic above the Arctic Circle here. So, one thing you can do is you can adjust this. So, say, let's say you're training and it's 20 degrees, humidity won't really be a factor. We'll just leave that alone. But then you also have to deal with a 20 mile an hour wind. So, now we can also, you'll see this little note your training paces have been adjusted for heat, humidity, and wind chill. But in our case, it's actually for uh, cold. Um, so that will then adjust all of these paces for you. So if you're doing a um, strength workout, uh, this is now adjusted for you based on what the, what the weather conditions are. So that's a nice little upgrade. Um, on the other side of that, let's say, you know, it's uh, 75 degrees and it's 100% uh, humidity. We'll just leave the wind out of there. Now you can see those paces have been adjusted as well. So you can adjust it for heat and humidity and cold and wind chill now too. Um, and we also have this, uh, we also have the numbers for um, metric, which uh, Tim is working on. So you'll see that upgrade for our for our metric folks um, here in the next uh, couple weeks. But uh, for now, you can use it like this, and then uh, the metric stuff will be up later. But nice little, a nice little update because now you can do paces for any distance that you're racing. You also get race equivalencies for anything you're doing, and we can adjust everything on heat and humidity and cold, as well as wind chill. So, um, personally, I think it's a great little upgrade, and that will be awesome for us.